thousands of protesters, fed up with the government of Nicolas Maduro, flooded the streets of Caracas Wednesday. Venezuela's opposition leader, Juan Guaido, declared himself the country's interim president. The move immediately won the backing of U.S. President Donald Trump, who released a statement recognizing him as the country's interim leader, prompting a swift reaction from Maduro. In a televised broadcast from the presidential palace, Maduro cut ties with the United States, accusing the opposition of seeking to stage a coup with the support of the U.S. I have decided to break diplomatic and political relations with the imperialist government of the United States. Maduro told U.S. diplomatic personnel they had 72 hours to leave the country. The socialist leader started a second term earlier this month following a widely boycotted election last year that many foreign governments described as a sham. We recognize and express our full support for the interim presidency of Venezuela. Following Trump's support for Guaido, similar statements came from Canada and a slew of right-leaning Latin American governments, including Venezuela's neighbors Brazil and Colombia. Experts say ultimately a change in government in Venezuela will rest on a shift in allegiance within the armed forces. They have stood by Maduro through two violent waves of street protest, a collapsing economy, and a steady dismantling of democratic institutions.